Hey guys, this is Eric. It's Glenda. And we are DNE Miniature and Board Games. So, I got a surprise box in the mail today. And was it really a surprise? It actually was. Uh, the company themselves, they had a little bit of problem with the uh, packaging, and I figured mine would have been one of the ones that wasn't shipped. Uh, so, Plastic Soldier Company. The uh, Great War, the tank expansion. Um, I've already opened it and gone through it because I actually had to email Anita at Plastic uh, Soldiers Company. They were aware of the problem that their packaging, uh, the turrets, were being broke off of the tanks. So all you got to do is email Anita and the link is in the updates. And they will uh, send out the new tanks. So how bad was yours? Out of my whippets and my main box, two tanks unscathed. Huh. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they, they, they came forward, they said they knew that there was a problem, and they were already doing the corrections for it. Okay. So. Let's see. Uh, let's dig into the Great War. Tank expansion. It's supposed to be tanks. Yep. So. With the uh, new expansion, we have the new rule book, so you have the rules for the tanks, the new scenarios that the tanks go with. They're normal, it's, they're, they, their rules are pretty straightforward. Uh, they always give you a quick uh, reference guide. Two quick reference guides. Mm -hmm. And just like... Uh, Battle of Westeros, the hundred year, uh, the Great War. Um, you have the flat green map, and you add the hexagonal pieces to it. Okay. Is that hexagonal? It's not hexagonal, is it? Yeah, well, it's six sided. Four, six is six. So it's hexagonal. Now this one actually comes with uh, bunkers and uh, barbed wire, and I guess there's bridges in here somewhere too. Now, one thing, they have the uh, tokens here for the captured tanks, but one of the stretch goals was the captured tanks. Oh, cool. So, and if you notice, these are coming out, they actually have come out pretty easily. They're just kind of Did they come out good, though? The print yeah. and... So, first ones we're going to pull out. I don't know if these are the female or the male with the turrets kind of broken off it's kind of hard to tell I'm gonna go with these being the male tanks because they have the turrets on them so British male tanks uh, that was the other thing not only the turrets but the top part here was coming yeah, off too really but besides that they're nice and I mean good. for pre-painted pre-painted figures they're pretty nice he actually looks good and yeah. Then we got the female tanks, which is they have the machine guns on them. Now, some of the people I've noticed comments that they're um, they're going ahead and they're just hitting these with some uh, mud and dirt to make it look like they're going they're actually oh, fighting okay. combat and stuff. Um, they said they had an oily feel to them and in that the container, sense. but I'm not I'm not feeling any real oily residue in mine. Shiny and then you got the German tanks. Now one of my German tanks so made two it. Two German tanks. Yep. One German tank made it. One lost a turret. Well, yeah, 50-50 on that one. But you know, like I said, from what what they've been saying on the uh, comment section, that looks um, good though. Anita has been shipping stuff out as soon as she gets the emails of what's busted. One of the guys said he got his replacement tanks in 48 hours. Hmm. Now, granted, he probably lives in the United Kingdom. Well, there's the problem. Mine's going to be probably about a week, week and a half. This is coming from UK. Yep. And you have to ship it here. Now, also with this, you got uh, some more German artillery. Cool. I guess it's supposed to even out the fact that if this is the base game, you had four Allied tanks and two German <laughs> tanks. You got some artillery. Cool. Now, one of the uh, add-ons were the whippets. Okay, so let's see those. They're a smaller British tank, mainly machine guns. 
And oh, they are cute. Now in my whippets, I lost two of them. Two of them, the machine guns were bent over. <sighs> one made it unscathed. Well, you managed to get one. I got one. Those are the whippet tanks. So we'll go on to the stretch goals. Now the stretch goals were actually packed really decently. So in the stretch goals, you got an extra male tank for the British. Mm -hmm. You got an extra female tank for the British. Well, that's actually the male, that's the female. Yeah, it's like the same to me. The turrets are a little bit bigger. And then you got two captured British tanks with German markings. Oh, okay. But are they all in good shape? Oh yeah, all of them made it. This this was actually these were packaged perfectly. This is this is actually you know, I'm kind of wondering. That's what they should have done. They should have, they should have just had them. They could have just inserted because it fits perfectly. If they thought about it, this packaging on this. This stretch packaging goals. was perfect. Stretch goals. Yep. Oh well. They're what you said. They're a brand new company anyway. This is uh, their second Kickstarter. So. Uh, they've got a third one running right now. Uh, Quartermaster game. So. Um. This is kind of understandable. But you know, the, the cool thing about Will and Anita, um, you email Will, and like, like I said when uh, Tim and I did the uh, Great War unboxing, within 12 to 24 hours I had responses from Will. So they had good customer service. And with this one, I had actually, like we had talked, I'd forgotten my shipping. But I talked to Will and I had got um, the Great War on eBay, and the guy well, I'd missed the I'd missed the I Kickstarter, know, yeah, yeah. and the guy had uh, told me that he would give me his backer stuff, but I could never get his backer number. So I sent what information I had to Will, and he responded back. He he went ahead. I got I was able to clear up my problem with my shipping, and I basically got my backer. You know my um oh, the credit. That's right. Uh, now the other one of the other Kickstarters was this. It was uh, this was a Kickstarter exclusive, and this is for the artillery. Where you know most of our games, when you have artillery, your yeah. template you got to kind of you know stick it on top of figures and see That's where it right. ends. Well, this one, it's right there, goes right over the top, and you know you don't have to worry about what it's sitting on top oh. of. Cool. Now later on I'll have to actually glue this, but I guess it's for you know when you're done you can just disassemble it. Now the last stretch goal was one that they I've seen some complaints about. Uh, they had said that they were going to give a plastic card holder. Okay. Nobody knows if it was plastic money or issue or what. Personally. I don't really care. It was a stretch goal. It's it's a freebie. Is that? What's... It would be this. Okay. They actually ended up doing it in wood. Oh, so that's wood. Mm-hmm. And it's a card holder. Yep. You pop okay. it apart. You put it together, and it holds your cards. And when we're talking about the cards, we're talking about the there were cards in the base on game, the first but game. Okay. You know, honestly, I don't really think it had. Like I said, it was a stretch goal. Why are you complaining about a stretch goal? Well, you can't please everybody. No. I mean, it really doesn't bother me. I mean, like there are I a said. lot of complainers, so... But, but that's the tank expansion, The Great War. Uh, it's a Richard Borg game. Um, they always refer to this as like a Command and Colors games. Yep. I heard them mention that several times, so they call it Command and Colors. Now, if you do get... Uh, I don't know what's the word I'm actually looking for. The uh, um, if you do get do a Kickstarter with Plastic Soldier Company, uh, Will and Anita, they're great. Um, Will did the uh, video for the Great War. Anita did the video for Tank right Expansion. Uh, they respond very quickly to email uh, and, to, and to messaging on the Kickstarter. And I, if I remember correctly, they, they're uh, they do really well in the uh, the updates as well. Oh. See, I knew about the problem with the tanks 
almost four days ago. Okay. And I got this today, and I, you know, like I said, I opened it up, and I'm like, yep, I got... One Whippet and one German tank survived. Well, isn't Kickstarter their main marketing? Yeah, that's how they, uh, you know, like they say, it's expensive to bring Many, out a uh -huh. game. So they back it with Kickstarter, then bring it out. Now, one thing I do have to say, too, I, you know I've done a lot of Kickstarters. That's right. We got Cool Mini, we got Mantic, um, yep. Christopher Ferguson's mini game, you know, yeah. the micro games. And then some of the other are Trippa, some of the other companies this they've gotten the closest to their shipping dates oh, target dates yeah, yeah of any of the games i've backed even cool mini, even cool mini. okay well you're talking about cool, cool, mini. cool mini. big big yeah really, i mean well, you cool, can't really cool compare. mini did a good job with because they brought out the black plague for christmas for us that's all. right um but yeah these guys have they, they they've hit their targets so they, you know, they're, they're doing a learning curve. And, like we said, it's the second mm -hmm. game ever. And how many backers do they have? Well, this actually an expansion. Yeah. But um, their third game That's is right. running right now. It's all about the Peloponnesian Wars, I believe. It's hmm. a, like I said, it's a quartermaster game. Okay. Um, now, in talking to Will, he did do a hint, hint to me and said that the next would be the French. Oh. Personally, I am still hoping, still hoping for aircraft. Yeah, I want biplanes. The whole I want biplanes. For the Great War. It's on all the boxes. It's true, though. <laughs> I mean, really, realistically, yep, that's the Great War. But anyway, you know, they're, they're, the the paint jobs are decent. The models aren't bad. They've got some good weight to them, so I don't think they're going to fly around too much. Good details too. Yeah. But you know, I've never seen Iron Man. You have a lot of tanks, but this is like the smallest tank I've ever seen. On well, your this is one collection. One, this is one one hundred scale. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm um, saying. So your figures are going to be a little less than an inch tall. You know, that's just right for it. Yeah. But I mean, for a board game with hex map, I mean, think about it. true. This is what they're going to sit on. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you always have those big tanks. And this is so cool and so just for game. Just Working. for game. But so to recap, Great War Tank Expansion, Richard Borg, uh Plastic uh, Soldier Company. And as Glenda said, she really liked how they put PSC like it was part of a uh, frame That's right. for, for models. Uh stretch goals. You know, you got the male, the fem two more, uh, a male and a female British tank. You got the captured German tanks. You got the uh, artillery template, the raised artillery template, and the card, the holder. card holder. All in all, very nice expansion. I can't wait to, uh, as Tim and I had said, we were waiting until we got the tanks because when I, I got play. the Great War, I was already doing the Kickstarter for tank, and we were like, ah, we're we're gonna wait because right. you know, it, might as well have who, the tanks. Who wants to play without tanks? That's right. If they can only add the planes. Uh, that's right. Planes. planes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, as always, support your local gaming. Uh, we support Tree Fort Games in Fayetteville, right. Georgia, and uh, we really enjoy challenges, uh, game yeah. and comics up there in North DeKalb Mall. So you get a chance to check out either one of those. Uh, I'm assuming that we will add challenges onto the stores that we want to try and do uh, game reviews That's on. That's right. Uh, store days, reviews. It will come out. Um, yeah. <laughs> <These days. laughs> we can all get together That's more right. than once in a great while. That's right. Uh, but as always, guys, you know if you like us, uh, check out our Facebook page. It has links to our, all of our videos, and we also added on pictures from the expo at North DeKalb Mall, the uh, science out. fiction and fantasy expo that they had That's up right. there. It's uh, please, uh, a nice experience. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, and as always, guys, game on. Game on.